Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to play the high lob shot. It's one of the hardest shot in, shots in golf. Uh, I'm going to make it so that it's not as hard as you think. We'll give you some, uh, some pointers to get you at least in the ballpark to play this shot. So this is a shot of about 20 paces, 20 yards. There's a deep bunker in the way and there's probably about eight paces from the edge of the bunker to where that flag is. It's a fairly firm surface. There's not a lot of green to work with and uh, most people fear this shot a lot. So there's no point fearing. There's a bit of room to work with. So it's a case of how risky do you want to be? If you actually just think, you know what? If I'm here, in, if I can get down in three shots, I'm okay with that. This shot becomes so much easier if you think about that. Because all you have to do is hit it over the bunker and then two putt. And that's easy enough to do. What I'm gonna do though is to try and teach you a few things on how to try and get it close. So first thing we need is the most loft we've got. I've got a 60 degree sand wedge and that's exactly what I'm gonna to use to play this shot. It's a firm surface, there's not a lot of grass under the ball, so I've got to utilize the bounce of the golf club, but I don't want to use too much bounce. So this particular sand wedge has six degrees of bounce, which is quite low, but here in Melbourne where I play golf, that's the perfect one. If you play a course where there's really thick uh, rough, you're probably better off to get a higher degree of bounce, sort of nine, I said rough, I mean fairways, so sort of, nine degrees, 12 degrees, something like that, ideally suited. But here, where it's fairly firm, we need the lowest bounce we can. So we really need a nice, wide, shallow golf swing when we play this. We don't want to try and lift the club up and chop down on it. We really do need that low angle of attack, shallow angle of attack. I'm gonna swing it pretty slow I'm going to use a swing that's a little longer than you think and more than anything I'm going to feel the back part of that sand wedge hit the base of the ground. So we'll see how I go. My weight is just slightly forward, my hands are very slightly forward, not a lot of shaft lean, just a little bit. Nice and slow. And the ball got out, up and over, and that's finished about two feet away. So you can see I've taken a little tiny divot, not deep. I've just utilized the bounce of the club and the loft of the club did the work. So the mistakes I see most people doing is that they do pick the club up and they flip it, thinking they've got to do something with their hands to get the elevation. No, we've got a 60 degree sandwich. All we need to do is let the club do what it was designed to do. I'd encourage you to get out and have a little play with this and uh, practice it and don't stop on it. Make sure you follow through because there's plenty of room behind that flag so it's a great shot to have in the arsenal. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.